They call me a Bahawi. It means man of fire. It's not my real name. As a child, I was known as Godify. Godify, it means worthless. Ethiopia. For many, a land of drought, famine, and poverty. But things have changed in this corner of the world. And the transformation is nothing short of miraculous. In a 30-year struggle for survival, its people have transformed vast areas of barren hillside into life-giving forests. In once parched valleys, crops now grow in abundance. From dried up riverbeds, water is once again flowing. And for the people, food security is finally in sight. Seen through the eyes of an unlikely hero, this is the story of how a nation broke out of an endless cycle of drought and famine. How its people, oppressed by a brutal regime known as the Red Terror, forged a green revolution. It's a story of vision, dedication, and collaboration on a monumental scale. The transformation in the landscape here over the last few decades has been massive. In the 1980s and 90s, it was nothing in comparison to what we see now of all this greenery and vegetation. I don't think I've ever seen so many people hard at work they have transformed a landscape in Ethiopia that was previously considered a basket case. That is incredible and perhaps unprecedented. Over the years, the fortunes of this man have closely followed those of his country. Today, he is known as Man of Fire. <laughs> This is a story to challenge your perceptions. A story that will inspire and give hope to the climate change generation. This is the untold story of Ethiopia rising.